cool. I was indoors all day and uh, I thought that I would take the old Sertao out for a bit of a drive. As now that I still got this bike, I'm, I'm pretty soon I'm gonna be letting this go and uh, replacing it with the T7. So Tenere 700 and 22 model that I'm buying here locally. Look at this view. Absolutely amazing. I've been trying to get this this track on the finished head but uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's coming in a later later update but okay back to the bike I've had this Sertao now for this is a 2013 BMW Sertao model and uh, I've had this for the last 20,000 kilometers <laughs> so I've driven this last summer and uh, this summer not completely through as it's August but what do I think about the bike uh, I think this is a great great adventure bike I don't really even have a reason to sell it but uh, I just fell in love with the T7 and the power it's delivering this is a little bit underpowered, especially if you compare it to KTM's and uh, modern stuff and the bigger bikes. This is 48 horsepower and it, it delivers the power very well. I think it, it's pretty linear and there's a lot of low, low end torque. It's not easy to stall this bike, it's, it's just chucking along on all RPMs. But of course if you drive it on the motorways and stuff like that you will be missing maybe a few horsepower there but uh, this is pretty happy at around uh, 120 kilometers an hour all day long it doesn't complain at all so I don't see a problem using this as a multi-tool like you can go wherever bike I, I just came from a 5,000 kilometer trip I drove to the Baltics and Poland and uh, Germany Denmark, Sweden and it was a couple weeks and I had no complaints from the bike it's just working like a dream maybe if you have hard panniers like I do the rear weight gets a bit high if you pack it fully the, it's a little undersprung if you're a heavier dude and you pack it full of gear but uh, I've seen some crazy setups with this bike so I don't think you're gonna have a big, big problem with it. Uh, I've, had, I've been running hard panniers with this bike and uh, packed them pretty full and no issues with the sag, over sagging or anything like that. I'm not the hardest off-road driver as you can probably see. I'm just taking a nice little Sunday drive as they say because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to get myself all wet and dirty this is just a nice drive so I can talk to you about this bike but the sitting position is uh, I think good you might have to do some some modifications as I have I've gotten the Touratec lower pegs that lower the, the pegs 20 millimeters so I have more room, I, I don't feel less cramped sitting on the bike. And uh, then I got the higher seat that I have a video about on this channel as well. And that's more like a touring seat. It's nice to sit on and uh, you don't get any butt hurt on that seat. It's so soft and comfortable. But the OEM seat can be a little bit, uh, little bit hard and maybe the shape is not to my liking because it's a little bit sloping and uh, you feel like you're dripping down and forwards all the time on the seat but uh, that's a uh, something you have to try yourself on the longer trips the OEM seat is nice for a day day drive <laughs> no problem but as you can see I'm standing at the moment I'm just enjoying this comfortable cruise with this bike 
Uh, I think the standing position is, for me, it's pretty spot on, I think. I don't feel that I have to change anything, uh, especially now that I have the 20 millimeter lowered uh, pegs I can show you at some point when I stop. Um, I feel the standing position is nice and I don't really have to have any bar risers or anything like that on this bike. And uh, if you're a little bit taller guy than I am, you might need bar risers, but I'm 175 centimeters tall. And to me this bike is pretty much spot on, like it's made for me. But if you're 180 and 190 or something like that, you might need to have an inch or two of bar risers there. Well, maybe not two, but at least an inch. Oh, it's pretty wet in here. I don't really want to get all that wet. I'm, <laughs> I'm just running in my trousers here, <laughs> so I don't have any good gear for this. But uh, this is a nice road and it's nice to drive, so I'm taking it. Oh, shit. I'm just going to take this slowly because I don't have the right gear for this now. <laughs> so don't hate me on the comments. <laughs> But yeah, um, what else have I changed? Uh, the front blinkers I had, the original ones, broke on me last summer because mainly because uh, they, they, maybe they get hard over time and this is a 2013 bike so uh, I had to replace them and I bought uh, from, I don't even remember where I bought this but these were exactly the same looking as the OEM Part, but these are LED blinkers and as I didn't want to change the rear ones because they are working perfectly and no issues with those I just put in resistors so I get the blinking speed correct and it's working one problem with this bike is spikes is uh, this heated grips button here it seems to be breaking on me every year so what I did just a week ago or actually a few days ago I exchanged it to a older models, Dakar models button, so I'm hoping that will last the next owner a bit longer. It looks a bit different, but it fits nice on the, on the newer bike. So yeah, I've been very happy with this bike. And uh, as a starter bike, I think this is a perfect way to start riding off-road and taking these little trips off the tarmac if you feel those are boring. I'm, I have a like road bike uh, background myself pretty much. Now that I, I bought this bike I don't really miss the tarmac at, at all anymore. I love this bike. Uh, I, what can I say? I'm just for completely in love with it and uh, I'm actually considering that I would keep it uh, and buy the T7 with just money but uh, it's a difficult choice because I'm not I don't really have endless amounts of money and uh, I don't really have the space to keep both and the T7 is so close to this one in in like um, both of these are like mid-range adventure bikes I don't really feel that I have the a good enough reason to keep it so I'm probably just gonna give it away when I when I get the new one and they can sell it on to someone who will appreciate it as much as I do and uh, I changed to the Anaki adventure tires for the last trip and I didn't really like the front tire on that this bike really screams for nobbies I think I've been running Anarchy Wilds for the na maybe 15,000 kilometers before I changed those Anarchy Adventures and I like the wild tires on this. The rear tire does wear out a bit faster but uh, I think it's worth it because this bike really really works so well with those tires and uh, so what, what else can I say? I've changed the battery because the battery is right underneath this plate here. So, if the battery weighs 3 kilograms less, it's really something you can feel when you turn the bike. It's high above the battery here, 
and you can really lower the center of gravity if you change the battery to a lithium I've heard other people running Shorai batteries with these bikes with no issues for years and years and mine has been there for 7,000 kilometers and no issues whatsoever only thing you have to be very aware of is that you don't run this flat like empty it completely forget your lights on or something like that because it will kill the battery immediately it doesn't have any Shorai batteries have it, no protection against discharge but yeah I don't think I have any big problems with this bike I've never had anything huge I think the pegs are the biggest problem if you change them for a bigger ones the OEM pegs are so slim that it's really hard to stand on those and you feel like you have to cup your legs in a weird position to position yourself on those sturdily but changing the pegs as you can see I have the Torotec ones uh, they work perfectly I feel comfortable standing on them all day long as you can see I'm taking a hundred kilometers an hour here uh, the bike pulls very nicely to the hundred kilometers even 120 130 it pulls very nicely I don't like need any more power but if you are running like 140 kilometers an hour a lot on your commute or something like that in Germany for example this bike might might not be the one for you but uh, in Finland everywhere this is just perfect no issues with it no need from any more power it's very stable at speed as you can see there's like no issues with it okay now we got off the tarmac again so we can enjoy some nice off-roading some easy easy local routes that I know pretty well okay let's go to the dam and uh, see what the bike looks like now that it's been a little bit dirty maybe after all this puddling in the water this is a nice place to stop oh yeah let's put the bike here yeah so there it is this is the stock color I think the Serta never came with any other color than the white with blue stickers I've taken the blue stickers from the front off because I don't really like the look I like the more clean look that it has right now without the decals right here but I've kept the Sertao sticker in the rear because there needs to be something to remind you that you're driving the special version but yeah the bike has kept up really well I even have the original bash plate I have had no issues with it because I don't really do hardcore off-road with this it's been fine it's taking some beating with the rocks and stuff like that but there's no dings in it it's perfectly doing its job perfectly and there's no problems with that so here are the Toratec low pecs that I purchased these are 20 millimeters lower than the OEM ones and probably three times and the uh, size the OEM ones are really tiny and if you if you have sneakers on of the OEM pegs are gonna hurt your legs oh, that almost rhymed <laughs> I have some protection here and there for the ABS sensors and the brake brake stuff but uh, I'm running this pretty pretty lean and mean original at the moment I don't even have any slip on on it I like the sound of the OEM pipes because it's very very quiet you can just drive it uh, without bothering anyone but yeah these little protective covers they get lost pretty easily and they're like I don't know 80 euros a piece so 
I'm just running without them. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not buying 80 euro bottle caps for my bike, no way. But yeah, this Sertao has been perfect. It's really done me well. I never left me stranded anywhere. The technology is very basic. You have ABS and ABS in here you can switch off. And this really switches off all the ABS, not just the rear, the front also. So that's good for people who want to drive off-road. And you probably want to change these hand guards because they are just plastic. They're probably just good for the rainy weather and the wind protection but if you fall these will go all sorts of places but i have fallen with these many times and they don't break that's not the problem but your your <laughs> switch gear here might get lost or broken i have actually this twisting switch gear here on the left side and the right side i'm running the oem one i did change this one to the the same set that this came in but actually it started uh, jamming my front brake and uh, I thought it was a bit dangerous so I switched it back to the OEM and it's working perfectly no issues with the brakes it's just uh, the milling of that uh, device that hand lever is not perfect so these are pretty cheap from Alibaba or somewhere uh, the clutch is working perfectly it's no problem but the brake one was a little bit iffy so I changed it back so yeah, there's my thoughts about the uh, 2013 uh, 650 Sertao BMW. It's a very nice bike and uh, I urge you to get one. If you, if you see one on sale, you should probably buy it because these are not that common. Uh, not many times you can see this, at least in Finland. It's pretty rare to see one of these on sale anywhere. But yeah, that's it. If you have any questions about the bike, I'm happy to answer it uh, in the comment section. This was just me rambling about the bike. I'm sorry if this video makes no ab absolutely no sense. And uh, <laughs> but I hope it uh, helps someone. Maybe I, there's not that many videos about the Serta, so I thought I would just upload something on the YouTube's uh, before I get rid of this bike. But yeah. It's been a nice, it's been absolutely a pleasure to ride this bike and uh, enjoy its company. So I hope you safe travels and uh, I guess I'm gonna go home now. That's no bother with this one. <laughs> okay, bye. I guess I didn't have the patience to drive slowly. Now I'm all wet. <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's uh, it's summertime. It will dry. <laughs> <laughs>